You're watching CBS 2 News in high definition. They are two of the most common cosmetic procedures. Now some doctors are using Botox on women while working on their breasts. Could it help with their recovery? Botox injections are by far the most common cosmetic procedures in the U.S. More than six and a half million of them last year alone. And they help get rid of facial wrinkles. But as CBS 2's Max Gomez says, they're also being used for something entirely different. This is what most people associate with Botox, frown line and wrinkle remover. You would hardly ever think of breast augmentation, breast enhancement. Nicole Hill has wanted to enhance her bust for a long time, and now that she has a child, she figured it was time. I've been working out, I look good, and I would think I, this is something I want to do for myself um, mm -hmm. to kind of... Um, it's hard to find clothes that fit sometimes. Um, I'm, I'm constantly wearing um, miracle bras, so I would like to like um, um, do this for myself. I'm going to do a lot of markings on you. So Nicole came to board-certified plastic surgeon Dr. Matthew Schulman, who routinely places breast implants under the pectoral muscles because it decreases hardening of scar tissue around the implant, reduces infection risk, and gives a better cosmetic result and provides a clear separation between the implant and breast tissue on a mammogram. But when you detach muscle to make room for an implant, it hurts. It could take you six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks before that muscle heals. So during that time, you're getting pain, you're getting muscle spasm. You have to be very careful with, with using your chest muscle. That's what led Dr. Schulman to add Botox to his breast augmentation techniques. The pocket for the implant is made from below the breast, and after the pectoral muscles are detached, Dr. Schulman injects Botox into specific muscle areas, which relaxes the muscle for several months. That has both a pain and cosmetic appearance benefit. That allows the implant to drop much quicker and also relieves a lot of the muscle spasms and pain that is associated with that muscle healing after the surgery. In other words, the look of the breast is much more natural yeah. much sooner because the muscle is relaxed and softer. This is Nicole just 11 days after her surgery. She's been back to work for a week. By day two, um, the next day, I didn't take any of the pain medicine. I was able to walk around. I'm excited to take a vacation, go in a bathing suit, wear a bikini, you don't know. <laughs> I'm so excited. Some of the improved recovery is due to other techniques that minimize inflammation and infection, but this is still surgery with all the risks that implies. And Botox does add about $500 to the cost of the surgery, bringing it to 9,500 with Dr. Schulman. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.